Hey guys, you are all welcome to Akio Codec. So today we are going to be talking about HHP proxy. So I'm going to be giving you a brief account on how how to set up HHP proxy on your computer. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to you can actually find working payloads, how you can find working IP addresses, and how you can actually create your SSH account. So for this, please stay tuned and happy doing as we proceed. So firstly, what is HTTP proxy? HTTP proxy is more than a VPN because it's, uh, it actually allows you to modify your proxy address to get connected on the internet. Most people actually use this application to get free internet. I also, I also used to use this for free internet. So today, well, I'm going to show you, give you a brief tour on how to use HTTP proxy. So firstly. Let us get into the user interface. So here you can actually see here is the user interface of HTTP proxy. And for the download links, they are going to be available on the description. So here is HTTP proxy, where you can have here is the inject panel, which is for payload editor. Here you have the replacer. We have the SSH account. We are actually going to create an SSH account. We have the Diala for those who are using the USB modem keys. So and the last we have the road, so we are not going to be concerned with this part. So firstly, what we need to do is that we need to actually find a payload. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to click on the toolbar and and this for I'm using for, and for your information I'm, I'm using the zero point I'm using the my version of any project is zero point is zero 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 eight. Because there are many other versions of HTTP proxy out there. So firstly, on the tool, we are going to go on our payload generator. As you can see, our payload is our host or domain. We need to choose the connection method, the inject type. So firstly, to get our payload, we are actually going to go to you get signal prencom. So what we are going, going to go to you get signal prencom. And we are actually going to open another tab where we are going to test if our payload is actually working. So we are going to open our payload online checker. So firstly, on the you get signal, we are going to click on the reverse IP domain check. So after clicking here, we are going to look for a server. Let us say www.google.com and click on the check button. So here yeah, you can actually see a list of payload provided by the Google server. So here yeah, you can see that many of the that many of the you can actually choose choose which one you want to use. So as for me, I'm going to take let us say I'm going to choose the I'm going to choose this one. So before let us test if it is working. So to see if it is working, you are you're going to get in here into paste it here and click on the check button let us check so to actually see if your proxy is working you are going to get the 200 status to actually show that it is working and here you can see our status code we have the 200 status which actually shows that the proxy the payload is working so you can try this with many other webs web server so let us say let us take another web server like whatsapp dot com and click on the search so you can see variety of them and if you can actually remember this particular payload was actually used to browse for free on the was on the cameroon on the orange cameroon network but it was actually blocked a few months ago so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to use this payload, so I'm just going to copy it. I'm just going to paste it on my payload. Just paste google.com. I'm going to choose the connect method and the inject type no more. So in the header, I'm going to choose the X online. I'm going to just keep it alive, and that's how I'm going to generate it. As you can see the payload generated successfully so secondly what we need is the proxy so to have a working proxy we are going to go to a site name 
let me see I have the bookmark here let us see proxy site so in here you can actually see a list of working proxies so here yeah, I'm going to move into the HTTP proxy list I you can see and if I'm going to look for a very HTTP proxy has a high speed so you can see here at their speed so let us move back to our con HTTP proxy injector control panel so next thing we need the, an SSH account so to have this I'm just going to I'm going to use a different browser so I'm just going to I'm going to go into fast SSH so fast SSH you're going to enter the fast SSH to create your SSH account so in here actually you can actually create your SSH account for three days, five days, one week, one month it depends on you. So I'm going to choose a, a server, a Europe server. So here you can actually see the servers and see the number of places that are still available on the server. So here you can actually see 100, 1000 free from 1400 free from 500. So I'm going to take this first one. So you just need to input a username, let us see, IQ codec test and any part of your choice, I'm just going to use IQ codec and verify the capture. So yeah, you just need to select the storefront, let us see, storefront, I think that's all. And okay, so after this, I'm going to create an account and wait for about 10 seconds for it to be done. So as you can see, here is our this is our account that which is successfully created. So I'm just going to copy it, copy and paste it into a notepad. You need to create a notepad. I'm just going to paste the notepad. So in yes, what you need to do is that. Let us fill it together. So firstly, we have the username, which is fastsh dot IQ collectors, which I'm really just going to copy it and paste the username. Password is IQ codec. Show. Sure. Host IP, which is I copy I'm just going to paste on the host and port usually is host 22 and the tunnel method I'm going to choose the bitwise and the PF portable mode so after doing this what we need is our IP address let us see what is our IP address as you can see this IP address is a little bit disturbing so what I'm just going to do is that I'm just going to choose another one let us say the second one I'm just going to copy it so you can actually do this without texting if you have a lot of time to actually be doing the one I'm going to use this because I'm sure let me see 100% of time okay so I'm just going to use this without checking. So let us let me just paste it here. After pasting here, you then uh, save the configurations. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first of all let us try and see if it is working. So after doing all of this, I will have our payload generated. We have a proxy port. We have a SSH account well well created and let us try and see if this working so i'm just going to click on the start button as you can see our ssh is connected so let's actually check so let us see so now as you can see we are now working on the front server Fire portable control panel. So actually now we are not now 
we have changed our server so now we are working on different servers so you can see here is youtube france so thanks for watching this video and please if you are new to the channel please click on the subscribe button and if you love this video comment thanks for watching see you next on iq connect bye